Welcome to Shape by Faith, a special series led by health and fitness expert Teresa Rowe. Get ready for an entertaining and spirit-led adventure while learning ways you can become fit in your body, mind, and spirit. Now here's Teresa. Hi, I'm Teresa Rowe and welcome to Shape by Faith, where we shape our bodies and hearts for God's purposes. I know you will enjoy these Pilates for Kids exercises along with encouraging scriptures on children who are a gift from God, right Eva Grace? This is my eight-year-old granddaughter, Eva Grace, and she will be joining us today. I'm so excited. You will only need a small ball. So let's go ahead and let's get started. Go ahead and stand up nice and tall, pull your belly in, and we're gonna go ahead and bend forward. So we're gonna forward bend, and then bring the ball out in front of us, and up, bring it back down. The word says to train up a child in the way that they should go. And even when they're old, they will not depart from it. Again, bend over, bring the ball up, and keep it moving. You're doing great, Eva Grace. Lower down there. So this one's a great stretch for the hamstring muscles and the legs, wonderful for the hips, flexors. We're just moving. I love working out with the ball. It's kind of fun. And uh, you can use any ball that you have in your home. Let's do that a few more times. Lower down and bring it up one more time. Keep that belly in and all the way up, reach, 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 and then bring it down. Nice job. Okay, this one we're gonna step out wide. We're gonna go into a plie. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna lower down, lower down here. We're gonna stay right here and bring the ball from side to side. You got it, just side to side. The word says, do not provoke your children to anger, but bring them up in the discipline and in the instruction of the Lord, right? That's a good word for us. Just moving side to side, working the obliques, the core, now, it's a little challenging staying in this position, but Eva Grace is doing great, just staying down here in this plie. So we're stabilizing the entire body, using the legs, using the core and the glutes, and just rotating side to side, a great way just to work out the core. Just a few more of these. You're doing fantastic. One more, and last one. Let's step the feet together. This next one is a right lateral lunge. So I'm gonna have you step up, Eva Grace, just a little bit. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna step out to the side. Let's practice that. Get the ball in front of the foot and come right back in. Let's do that again. Step out, very nice, and back in. Let's just keep going on this side. Children are a heritage from the Lord. They're such a blessing. And grandchildren especially are a blessing from the Lord. Keep going on this side. Stay back in your heels. So on this one, we're working the legs and the core. We're working on balance and stabilization. Let's do that two more times, okay? We'll reach out there, back in one more time. Very nice. Now this time, Eva, I'm gonna have you move this way and we're gonna step out that direction, okay? Exact same exercise. Let's go ahead and step out, bring the ball by the foot, and bring it back. You got it, let's do it again. Good, and just again, just working on flexibility, working on strength and balance. The word of the Lord says, see that you do not despise one of these little ones. Love children take care of them, honor them. Very nice, just going back and forth. Good, breathing through the mouth and the nose. And um, just having a good time with this ball, right? <laughs> We're having a great time. We're having a ball with a ball. And it's just a great way to work out and work out with a family member. Good, one more. Very nice. Now we're gonna move a little closer together like we did before. This time we're gonna march. So we're gonna take the ball out in front of us. We're gonna lift one knee and then the other knee, just like that. So let's just start, Eva, just like this. Good. We're just gonna tap the knee, tap it. You got it, you got it. You can flex your feet if you want. Children, but especially grandchildren. And it says that in the Word. 
it says grandchildren, are the crowning glory of those who are older. I don't really feel older, but I guess I am, right? I guess I am your Nana. <laughs> I guess I am your grandmother, but I don't think about it like that, you know? But I think I'm your Nana, how about that? Keep going, just marching, taking that ball from knee to knee. Now we're gonna start to rotate in just a minute here. One more. We're gonna go back out in that wide plie. Remember that one? So on this one, we're going to go down and pivot like we're passing the ball. Go down, other direction. Very good. So we're working the core, the legs, that upper body, working on balance. The word says, I will teach all your children and they will enjoy great peace. The word of the Lord instructs us and it instructs our children, right? As we teach the word to our children. Eva Grace, I remember when your mom was little and we would read the Bible and uh, she's doing that with you and your brother, right? She's teaching you the word, so is your dad. Keep going. And so you're gonna be mature and strong in the ways of the Lord. And a few more, one more, you got it. Now, this one's a little bit more complicated, okay? But you can do it. So stand beside me. We're gonna go into a squat, squat down, lift the knee up and press the ball up. Got it? <laughs> squat, press, other knee, squat, press. Very nice. Jesus said, let the little children come to me. Do not hinder them for the kingdom of God belongs to them. Oh yeah. How are you doing with this one? Good job. Keep it moving and breathe. We're gonna slow this down just a little bit. Good. Working that upper body, working the core, working on balance and flexibility. And I can feel that all throughout the body. One more each knee. Last one, very good. I'm gonna have you step up again. Now, on this one, squat and chop. Squat and chop, you got it. So we call this one a tree chop, or I do anyway. And it works the core and the waist and the legs. Whoever does not receive the kingdom of God like a child, an innocent child, it says, shall not enter it. So by faith, we love the Lord. By faith, we walk in His ways, right? And squat, rotate. We're working the core a lot, aren't we? In our legs, in our upper body. You're doing fantastic, Eva. Keep it going. Keep it going. You're gonna be so strong. You already are. Very athletic. One more each direction. Last one. Very good. Okay, we're gonna take a seat. So go ahead, sit down. Now, remember this one, put your legs out in front and we're gonna take the ball from side to side. You got it, side to side. I'm gonna face you a little bit. Side to side, good. And remember to breathe. <laughs> you wanna breathe, good. And you wanna rotate so you feel that through your waist so you can bring your ball way back by the hip. Very good. Children are a gift from the Lord, right? So are Nana's, right? <laughs> so are Pappies and Papas and grandfathers because God created each one of us. So each one of us are special and unique. Each one of us have a great plan, right? God has placed in our life for us to do. A few more. One more. Nice. Now, this one, we're gonna straighten the legs out and place the heels together. I'm gonna to scoot down here just a little bit. I'm gonna have you scoot up here. Yeah, a little bit more. Very nice. Bring the ball out. This one's a roll down. Do you remember this one? Roll down each vertebrae at a time. Exhale, extend your arms, and then roll up. Flex over your legs. Good. 
Nice, roll down. The word says, children obey your parents. And I'm not making light of that, it's, it's true. And to do what is right in the eyes of the Lord. Be obedient to your parents, practice that. And when you mess up, just ask them to forgive you, right? Just go to them and just let them know you're sorry. And keep going, lift, lower. Let's go all the way down, let's stay down on this one, okay? All right, we're gonna bend our knees up but stay down, bend your knees up, and lay on your back. On this one, Eva Grace, what we're gonna do is bridge up, bring the ball over the head, okay? Bring it up and over the head, okay? So we're gonna bridge up and then lower down. Bridge up, bring the ball up, good. So as you lift up through your hips, good, the ball's going out and up. So we're working the lats and our shoulders, keeping that core engaged. Even children are known by the way that they act, right? Whether their conduct is pure and whether it's right or not. So when you reach the age of reason, that child is responsible for their, their behavior and their actions. And let's do that two more times. And one more, and lower down. Now on this one, we're gonna bridge up and just press the ball straight up and then lower down. You ready? Let's bridge up and lower down. So we're using our hip flexors and our glutes. And as we bridge up, we're making sure we're breathing, we're exhaling out of our mouth, inhaling as we go. Whoever spares the rod, the word says, hates their children, but the one who loves their children is careful to discipline them. So a parent that is loving will discipline their children in love, right? Now you've got to realize parents aren't perfect people. I was not a perfect parent and I'm still not, but I try my best to do what is right in the eyes of the Lord. And when I mess up, I ask the Lord to forgive me and uh, Eva sometimes asks my own children who are grown-ups to forgive me as well if I mess up. One more, very nice, lower down. Okay, this next one, bring your legs up. It's called a tabletop position. It's kind of hard to hold right here, but you can do it. And so what you're gonna do is bring your arms overhead again. You're gonna tap one leg, bring the ball out, bring the ball over the head, tap the other leg down, Good, and just move with it. This one's a little bit more complicated. Just tap, good, and down. Just tap down, just move the ball, just so we're moving and breathing. We don't have to do this perfect, right? It's not about that. It's about having fun and moving and honoring God by taking care of this body. When her child is born, a mother's anguish gives away to joy because She's brought a new baby into the world. One more, last one, nice. Bring that ball down. We're going to extend one leg, bring one leg out and just lift it up, Eva Grace, and bring it back down, just straight leg. Let's do that again. Just lift it up and down. And again, up and down so this is great for the legs we're just going to reach the ball up there and then start to reach towards the leg as you bring it up just reach up there a little bit good keep that core engaged exhale as you lift and a few more of these let's do about three more all right, we've got one more of these. Nice. Let's go ahead and finish up on that opposite leg, okay? So let's bring it out there and lift it up, flex, and then lower it down. Let's do that again, lift and lower. Now, if you wanted to, you can also lift up through your shoulders and your head, just looking towards your leg. Bring it up, feeling that in your core. And arms, you're doing a fantastic job, by the way. You really are. 
Good job. Keep it moving. Feel that in your shoulders and in your lats. Good. The word says, my child, listen when your father corrects you. Listen to your parents and be obedient. All right. We've got three more of these. So three, good, two, one more. Yeah. And we're gonna bring both our legs up on this one. Just reach them up nice and tall. And we're gonna take the ball and reach it up and bring it back down. Just do the best you can do. Just reach up and down. You can also modify and keep both feet down on the floor and that's perfectly fine. A mother is disgraced by an undisciplined child. That is so true. That's taken from the book of Proverbs. So you definitely want to discipline your children in love. And sometimes even it's really hard to discipline the child that you love, but you've got to do it, right? So that they will also mature in the ways of the Lord. A few more of these. Let's do two more, just reach up there, one more. Very good. All right, let's place the feet on the mat. Let's just rearrange our spine. We're gonna bring our legs to a tabletop position. Bring the ball up back behind the head and we're just gonna kind of rock back. Just kind of rock back and bring the ball towards your legs as you rock back. This is a reverse curl for that deep core and it's great for the spine. It's fantastic for the spine. Just keep it rocking back and forth. Love the Lord your God with all your heart, your soul, and all your strength. And that's the word of the Lord. Just love God, honor Him, respect Him, and do what is right in His eyes. And be obedient. Be obedient to Him. Be obedient to your parents. Keep going. All right, two more of these. One more. All right, let's take a back stretch. Let's just bring those knees in. You doing okay? All right, this next one's a double leg stretch. So from this position, you're gonna reach way out there. And then you're gonna bring the ball back to your legs and reach back out there again. All right, let's keep this going. So reach out, extend. Nice, keep going through this one. Discipline your children and they will give you peace of mind. Every parent wants that peace of mind. So discipline your children. Don't give up on them, right? God is watching over them. You keep praying for them. You keep trusting and believing God's word and his promises for your child and pray for them, pray for them all the time. Pray for them when they're sleeping, when they're not sleeping, when they're acting up, when they're not acting up. All right, one more and bring those knees in. Very nice. Now on this one, we're gonna lift one leg. So lift one leg up and we're gonna lower it down. Now this time, leave it up there, Eva Grace. Bring your ball up. And we're gonna do some tricep work. So we're gonna bring the ball, kind of like we're gonna tap the head and bring it straight back up. As we lower the leg, the ball is gonna tap our head and then lift up almost like you're gonna kick the ball. So lower the leg, tap the head and back up. So working the core in the leg and triceps all at the same time. Through the praise of children and infants, you have established a stronghold against your enemies. I know you praise the Lord, Eva Grace, and you sing songs to Him, and you worship Him, and He loves you so much. He's got just amazing, wonderful plans for you, like He does for all of us, right? One more. Let's bring that leg down. And let's bring that opposite leg up. All right, same thing. We're gonna tap the head, lower the leg, and then lift like we're kicking the ball. Again, bring it down and up. Good. Remember to breathe through your mouth and through your nose. I'm gonna keep that going. To all who believe him and have accepted him, he gave the right 
to become children of God. We are all his children. And Eva Grace, you are a daughter of the Most High God, King of Kings and Lord of Lords. And for those of you who are watching us exercise, you are a child of the Most High God and God loves you so much. He loves you so much. One more. Last one. Okay, let's take a little spine break here and pull the belly in. Now bring the knees up, bring them up, and bring both legs up again. This one's a little bit more complicated, okay? So we're doing a double leg lower, lower the legs a little, bring the knees in, and bring the legs up. Lower the legs, bend the knees, and then bring the legs up. Again, lower the legs, Bend the knees and good, stretch them up, just keep going. I have no greater joy than to hear that my children are walking in the truth. It is, I, I just can't even express to you how a parent feels when they know that their child is walking in the ways of the Lord. There's such joy, there's such peace. It's just unexplainable. One more, and then let's place both feet on the floor. Now, do you remember the knee drop on this one? You're gonna bring the knees to one side, just bring the ball over to the other, and then bring the knees to one side and the ball to the opposite side, good. So you're just gonna place that ball over the opposite direction from your knees, good job. Just going side to side. Lord, we love you and we praise you and we're so grateful that we're able to work out together. And I'm so grateful for my grandchildren. I'm so grateful for my grown children and my husband and children that I know, Father. Um, I'm just so grateful, Lord, for the people that you have placed in my life that have made such an impact and such a difference in my heart. Thank you, Father, for loving us. Thank you, Lord. You're an awesome God. One more. And last one. Okay, let's bring the legs up to a tabletop. This is a tabletop crunch. So you're gonna crunch up and then lower back down. Let's do that again. Crunch up and down. So crunch and lower. Working through that core. For you created my inmost being and you knit me together in my mother's womb. Let's lift and lower. So we're grateful, we're thankful that God created us exactly as he wanted to create us, right? He gave us the hair color that he wanted us to have and the eye color and our height and everything about us. So it is so wonderful because God created us, right? All right, keep going. I'm feeling this one. <laughs> I know you are too, right? You're like, woo! One more. All right, we're gonna roll back on this one and then roll up. Roll all the way up. All right, do you remember rolling like a ball? It's kind of fun, you roll like a ball. Okay, so hold on to the ball and let's roll back, ready? And up. How fun is that? Let's do it again. <laughs> roll like a ball. And I praise you, Lord, because I am fearfully and wonderfully made, right? Let's do it again. Keeping that belly in. This is a great massage for the spine, actually. So good for the back. One more. And let's sit all the way up. Good. All right, let's bring our legs out. And yeah, you can stay right there. Straighten your legs and flex your feet. On this one, we're gonna put the ball on the floor and we're just gonna walk the ball out. Scoop your belly, arch your spine, and then come back up. All right, good. Let's do that again. Walk the ball out, hold right there, and then bring it back in. Do you feel that in your spine and your back? It's really good for that area. 
good. Let's just keep going. The word says if you cause one of these little ones who trust to me to fall into sin, it's not a good thing, right? If you uh, cause a little one to fall into sin, the Lord says it would be better for you to have a large millstone tied around your neck and drowned in the depths of the sea. So God loves his children. He values children. He honors them. He respects them. Keep going. We'll see that one more time. Very nice. Now on this one, we're gonna bring the ball on the outside of the leg, okay? So I'm gonna scoot in towards you and you can scoot in towards me. All right, so let's practice this one together. Let's bring the ball on the outside. Let's roll it out and let's bring it back in. Good, keep it on that side, ready? Roll out and back in, you got it. And again, just kind of hinge forward. Is my legs in your way? <laughs> Keep going. Your eyes saw my unformed body. God saw us before we were born. He knew us then and he knows us now. He knows every detail of our lives because he wrote our story. And so I go to the Lord every day in prayer and I just ask him to show me what he wants to show me. Last one. Very nice. Let's go to the other leg on the outside. Same thing. You ready? Roll it on out there. Try and go as far as you can. And then roll it back. Good job. Let's do it again. Roll it out. The Lord says all of our days are ordained. That he has written every single day about us in his book. Ready? Exhale. Roll out. And back in and keep going. You're doing so good. Nice work, Eva Grace. A few more. Exhale and inhale. These scriptures are wonderful about children and parents and families. Last one. Nice. Now just bend your knees up. Just hold right here. Just bring the ball out in front of you. Let's try something, okay? Just tap the ball and the other leg tap. <laughs> you got it. Just because it's fun. Just tap, tap, tap right there. But you're also working the core in your legs. You're strengthening actually your knees as you're doing this one because you have to use your upper legs. Doing great. You have to extend those arms out straight, stretching the arms. Core is engaged. You know, one of my favorite scripture verses is out of the book of Proverbs. It's Proverbs 3, 5 and 6. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge Him, right? And He will direct your path. And He always will. Last one. Good job. You did so good. All right, so we're going to tell them um, thank you for joining us, all right? So thank you for working out with me, all right? I really appreciated it. Thank you for allowing us in your home today, and I hope you're motivated to continue preparing yourself to be the best that you can be. As we continue exercising and praising God together, He will bless our bodies and our hearts for His purposes because it's God who made us, and He breathed His Spirit in us so that we can encourage others to live for Him. Until next time, friends, may the Lord bless you, keep you safe, healthy, and strong in your body, mind, and spirit. Just tell them bye. Bye. Tune in next time as we continue shaping bodies and hearts for God's purposes with Teresa Rowe as we all become shaped by faith.